and mm-hmm. I'll speak to your manager about like all of this. Wanna send? I will speak to your manager about this. Yo, yo, my people! It's your boy EB, and welcome to another episode of the Kids Show. As you can see, Hi guys. today we are joined by a mother. What's your name? <laughs> Why are you laughing? That's the truth. What's your name? My name is Jessica Dina. Uh, Jessica Dina. So where are you yes. from? I'm from Stramontane, Cape Town. Uh-huh. So you grew uh-huh. up in Stramontane. Yes. I have a question quickly. Yes. So I've been watching your podcast. Yes. And I see all of your guests have like juice or water or something on the table to drink. <laughs> so is it because I'm now your girlfriend that it's like, it's fine if I don't get? You see, the thing is now. You had Tropica in the car. Okay. So I thought you might not be thirsty. But that's for afterwards. And was the Tropica open? No, it wasn't. You see, yes. mo- most, of the, most of the guests, you see. But that. I wanted to feel like a guest. So I wanted to come here like, oh, this orange juice for me. Now it's just... Nothing for nothing you. Nothing at all. I, I want to apologize firstly. And mm-hmm. I'll speak to your manager about like all of this. Wanna send I will apology. speak to your manager about this afterwards. But you, my manager. <laughs> Sometimes. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, it's fine, it's fine, I forgive you. You forgive I'll me? Let us slide. Okay, so mm. how does it feel to be on the kid show, finally? Um, it feels, I feel honoured. feel honoured? Yes. That's crazy. Yes, you, you're you quite big. Uh, who, me? Yeah. Like, so I, I feel like... In which way? Like, I feel nervous, I don't know why I feel nervous. About the kid show? Yes, like what? just being here speaking to you. Like I don't feel like I'm speaking to my boyfriend, I feel like I'm speaking to Evie the kid. Evie oh, the kid. Word. Yeah, we're asking yeah. you serious questions today, no? You must be ready. Are you ready? Because I have some questions for you as well. I'm keen. Okay. I'm excited. Okay. First and foremost, uh, we want to ask, like, um, what school did you go to? Like, how was your upbringing in life? Like, where did you start in your in your journey? Because obviously we know you as now the social media person and you're out there mm-hmm. and um, you're doing these things. But we also want to understand, like, um, how was your upbringing? Uh, how many siblings you have? Like, who is Jessica Tina at the same time? And what are you studying? And all of them things, they want to understand all of that. Because we see your social media personality, but we want to understand you for the people who do not know. Okay, so um, I've always stayed in Stramontain. I was born in Mitchell's Plain. Oh, wait, sorry, okay, so, sorry, 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 not a joke, not a joke. <laughs> I was born in Mitchell's Plain. Um, I stayed in Stramontain my whole life. I went to a primary school in Stramontain called Tenogia Primary. Yes, I know that one. Yes. Uh, they should um, come there or what? No. No, no, no. Oh, it's, it's not that bad. By Stramontain Primary, they should come, but not by Tenogia Primary. Oh, they should come, kids? Yeah. Yes. Grade 7, yes, 13 yes, year old, yes. shooting guns. The police will pull up there like every day. Wow, that's crazy, confiscating <laughs> guns and stuff. But anyway, um, I was there until grade 7. Finished primary school and then I went to Musenburg guy and that was that was like a big thing for me because oh, I was like you are moving out of Stramontane. You make like, me out I of wood. Guy. I thought I was gonna go to Stramontane. I was very scared. Yeah. And then my mom was like, "No, you are a good child. Like you're gonna go to Musenburg guy." So and bad. I, I felt like so, so bad kids go to like Stramontane. I I wouldn't say bad kids, but I mean like Stramontane I Stramontane children go there, and there's a stigma around Stramontane. Uh, like what's... when I when I said and they were like. I he, dri- he drives there every day though whoa, so whoa, I, don't, whoa, whoa, I don't know whoa, what's whoa. going on like Irving Bukasa that, okay? drives there every day even the kid is just chilling oh okay you know what I'm saying okay I'm joking I'm joking, no, I'm joking. It's fine. I'm joking. It's fine. remember this I'm joking I'm only joking I'm yeah joking. but anyway and then I went to Musimo guy I was actually a um what's it called now a guardian in my matric year that's like a prefect yo that's crazy oh and in primary school I was actually deputy head girl deputy head girl yes so you weren't good enough to be head girl baby Sorry. And you know, I wrote the motivational letter, no? Yeah. And the girl that they chose didn't, like she didn't even apply. But you know, that favoritism, uh, oh, sorry. Why, why do you think they chose her over you? Because she, I feel like she had more extramural activity. She was part of like the marching squad. She was captain of the marching squad. So, and I was just like. I think that's I was racism. The, the, the teachers. I think that's racism, yeah. Of person. I think so that's racism, like, yeah. Like, Definitely she racism. She was valid though. Oh, yeah, but you light skin, so maybe that's the problem. That That is actually low-key, but unfair, because, like, it was two females. What do you mean? That was head? So there's normally a head girl and a head boy, but there was a head girl and a deputy head girl. Oh, do you know what oh, I mean? Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. there wasn't, so there wasn't, like, a head boy? No. Why? I don't know. Do that's think? what I'm saying. I, I feel like that's actually a bit sexist. Yeah, it's kind of crazy. So. I think that's outrageous. Because yeah. you need a man to tell okay. you what to do. You know what I mean? Whoa, whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking, I'm joking, I'm joking. <laughs> That's how the rates are quite support that. Is that is that what your boyfriend teaches you? Um, in some ways. No, 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 no. We need to have a word with him. But um yeah. okay, you finish school now. Yeah. And um where do you go from there, bro? Like what where's your head at when you're in primary when you're in high school now? Like what do you want to do in your life and in your journey? In high school, I always knew what I wanted to do. I told myself when I'm finished with school, I'm gonna go study, I'm gonna study child psychology. Whoa, and I have a child. 
Yeah. Damn. I don't good. have a child. I'm I'm in the process. We are in the process. Of we even a kid does but not know you. <laughs> 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 okay okay true if we're speaking in third parties but anyway um i always knew what i wanted to do and i was like child psychology as soon as i leave school i'm gonna finish but obviously your high school mindset is very different to like real life yeah because in high school i don't feel like they teach you enough about the real world yeah and you just have a certain idea of when i leave high school it's gonna be like this and i'm gonna do this mm -hmm. but it doesn't actually go that way um but i made it out though and i got into uwc i was very you got, you got into uwc <laughs> from using <Musenberg High. laughs> Yes. Wow. Even kid why didn't you? Go, why didn't you go to UCT though? <clears throat> my my grades wasn't um, good, enough. good enough. Yeah, and I, I done math a lot. How much? And I don't know if UCT accept people that does math a lot. UCT accepts a lot of them. I know a lot of the Donnies on school now. I done I done few math like grade ten, <clears throat> but I was getting like. What do you mean? Things. You only get to peer in, You get only get to pick in grade ten. Remember? No, we get to pick in grade nine, and then grade ten you start. Oh, so you done. At only for grade 10. Yeah, and then when I got to grade 11, I didn't even want to change. One of the teachers called me and they were like, Jess, your marks are not good. Like, I'm sorry, but you need to come, go. Come, 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 come. need to go to do a mess lot. Oh, you really? And I was like, okay. And then we were twin word times and I was like, okay, this is vibes. Yeah, word and just times. counting apples and stuff like that. Yes, yes, Guys, yes. if you guys are doing maths lit and you're not getting above 70%, I'm sorry to say, that's very shocking, my brother. Yeah, I, I, think, I think I did get about 70%. I'm yeah. not sure. I can't remember. It was a very long time ago. Yeah. I matriculated in 2017. In 2017? What years are now? You matriculated in 2017 as I'm well. I matriculated in 2018. Oh, yes, you, I forgot. You went to school you a year earlier. Still. Wait, what years? It's 2023, so that's six years ago. Yeah. Wow. So you've been out of school for a long time. Yeah. Okay, so like, um, you know... It doesn't feel that long, though. What do you mean? Like, like it doesn't feel, feel like, like it's a long been time. You've been out school six years. You know how six years is? If yeah. we had our child six years ago, it would be six right now. That's crazy, you know, when you think about it. I have a child with Irwe Bukaisa. Um, so I don't know why you're saying if we have a child. Oh, I see. I yeah. see. I see. Yeah. How could I yeah. get that? Um, but yeah. And then I went to go study. Mm -hmm. um, it was not at all what I expected. They leave you on your own. Yeah. You get like caught in or wrapped up in the campus life. Yeah. And um, I was always like, I'm never going to fail any module. Yeah. Like I've never failed in primary school, I've never failed in high school. So campus is going to be a priest. Like yeah. university has got nothing on me. And then I got obviously a wake up call when I got there because it's just very overwhelming. But I also feel like it's your mindset. Yeah. Like if you're not strong enough um, and if your friend is telling you, no, we're going to go play thumbs in the cafe. Wow. And you have a that's, class. That's UWC that used culture. That you used to play thumbs. I used to leave my class to play thumbs and to just chill in the cafe and that's basically do outrageous. nothing. outrageous. But my daughter, if you're watching this in 10 <laughs> years' time, this is what your mom used to do. Instead of going to class, she was going to play dominoes. But it's, it's lessons learned, though. Because that's something that I would never, ever do again. And that's something, like, for my children... I would. Uh, chill, children, slow down, no, slow down. I mean, like in the future, yes. when they reach that stage, yes. if we are having more than one child, yes. like that is something that I would always try and teach them to like stay level headed and just focus on what you are there for. Yeah. And not get this. Obviously, like make friends and still enjoy the campus life, but don't forget the reason that you're there. Do yeah. You know what I mean? You're there for um, getting your degree. Yes. All, right. All yeah. the degrees. At least, like, you might not like make a lot of money, but as long as you have your degrees. Do you not, feel like not necessarily no do you, feel, you well, how, how do you feel about like um the matrix like how people like um not the matrix but like how like what, what people know <laughs> 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 like what people regard as the matrix basically they say like people who go to the go get the degrees work 95 jobs are basically stuck in the matrix or okay. people that work retail jobs are stuck in the matrix because they're working for someone else and their growth is sort of like stunted i think that's the idea behind it correct me if i'm wrong i'm not entirely sure so what do you feel about that? Do you feel about like, do you feel like it's there's an opportunity to go out there, straight out of school and start working? And by the time your friends are finished with a degree, you can make more money. Or do you feel like mm -hmm. going to get your degree is the better route? And after that, starting with, a, let's say, 18,000 and entry level salary and then yeah. transitioning and growing over the next 10 years to finally earn about 50, 60,000 in 10 or six, 10 to five years. Yeah, I get So you. what do you think in your mind is like the better option? 
if I had known, and this is just me personally, yeah. if I had you known, can't say me personally because Edward, you me, say it all the time. No, I'm not gonna have you're the one that corrected me first. You. you corrected okay, me first, personally, guys. But guys, now, wait, wait, wait. If you say personally, I feel like. Yeah. Do you start saying personally? Feel like. No, but do you that's know just, what I that's mean? Just, but me personally is tautology. Do you know what tautology is? Do you know what tautology is? You don't know what tautology is. My English is absolutely you outrageous. You just learned this word today. No, I didn't, Baba. Okay, what's tautology? Tautology is basically like when you add too much words. Okay. Basically, so it's too wordy. I'm actually going to find videos for you to add in this podcast. I will. Where you, are, where you constantly say me personally, for me personally, me personally. Because you like to do that. And I corrected you the last time. But I Yes, apologize. that's why I'm trying to correct you now. Okay, you teach yes. me and I teach you iron shops. I am the Bible says. <laughs> <laughs> crazy now <laughs> but <laughs> anyway um if i had known then when i started studying yeah what i know now yes i wouldn't be studying what i'm studying what what's what's your um like what's your anticipated entry-level salary as a child psychologist in south africa probably like 25k oh entry-level but the thing is, like, that is if you are a child psychologist. My degree, when I have my degree, I can probably just go work at a school. But I always tell myself, I'm going to open up my own practice. Yes. But it's going to take me another seven years of studying wow. to do that. That's outrageous. In seven years' and time, the child's going to be in seven. in high school, I wasn't doing these things. Yeah. So I didn't know. So I'm just like, I'm going to go in and I'm going to study this. Mm -hmm. And after my three, four years of studying, I'm going to open up my own practice and I'm going to do this. Yeah. And now it's like, once I get this degree, I can be a guidance counselor at the school or I can go work in a hospital maybe and not get the salary that I wanted for myself. And how much is uni fees you know per year? I mean? um, probably like 60k. 60k. You see, the system is outrageous. You know? Say, for instance, now you go and get a loan for 60k and then you, when, when you work as a guidance counselor, how much will you make, do you think? I think it's less than a teacher salary. So about like fifteen, let's say fifteen to be generous. Yeah, so that's to be that's to be generous. That's to be generous. Mm -hmm. Fifteen to be generous after five years of studying. Four years. What's the normal? You did you doing? Four. You do four mm -hmm. four years, no? So say for instance, at sixty thousand for four years, sixty sixty. That's about two hundred and forty thousand, and you are in debt, and now you start earning about fifteen thousand. Mm -hmm. In order for you to reach that, if imagine imagine you you reach 240,000 let's 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 assume you're not spending any money like you're just taking the 15,000 and you're putting it towards the debt you already owe bro let's calculate like how many years it'll take you to like reach a point where you've paid off your debt let's this is assuming you don't spend any of your money yeah so there's about 12, which is impossible though because you obviously can't do that 12 times 15,000 is 180 mm -hmm. but that's how much you'd make in a year. Mm. And over the five years, you've accumulated about 240000 in debt. And now you must pay like your water, your house, your rent. And it just leaves you in a... I think this, is what, all those I think this things. is what they call the matrix. Because now you're stuck in a system where you have to like pay back the money. And it's the same like people that work to survive like month to month. Yeah. Like you get your salary. There's not much that you can do. For yourself, because yeah. everything is going into like your your household. Yeah. Like if you have children, like you need to feed your children. You need to do this. You like there's not a lot that you can do for yourself. Yeah. And so you're just earning to make it to the next month. Exactly. You know what I mean. And and and, and guys, we're not like we're not at all like saying like people that go get like Chasey studying to now um, be a child psychologist. And this is just like the reality of like things because mm. it's like it makes it difficult for us as a society. In general, because there's a system, the way the system is built up. Mm. And I was listening to um to Dave on the way here. We listened to yeah. Dave, and he has a song called System. And on that song, he says like, "I want to own all my stuff, but the system's rigged, so we're living in debt." And like, you constantly have to live in yeah. debt in order for you to like survive. Because when you buy a car, you're in debt. And guys, we're having serious topics now because we're serious people now, bro. We have a child now, so <laughs> after have some serious topics. There's no funny stuff here anymore. But like, the system just is set up in a way in which you are constantly in debt and let's not even get that's kind of sad though because like things that you're supposed to achieve in life or you want to achieve in life for yourself yeah like you celebrate it but you always have that worry of i need to still pay this yeah like or, when you, you know what I when mean? you when you get a new car you're like oh i got a car but in reality you have to pay the bank like millions yeah. of rands not millions thousands of rands 
And when you get a house, you're like, oh, I got a house. And the funny thing is, like, when people see this, they're like, you're always rich. Yeah, like, but... Like, you have money, he's it, making money, but it's I, actually not. May, maybe riches is how much debt you can actually be allowed to have. Mm. Maybe that's what riches is in our society. Because, mm. yeah, like, I feel like if you can manage your debt properly, you can get further in life. But you can't actually get further using the system without starting a business, without yeah. starting your own practice, unless you're constantly in debt. And that's actually a problem in our society because yes. that's so what So what are you as Evie the Kid going to do to fix that problem? To fix that problem in our yeah. society. To be honest, um, I'm just trying to show people that there's lots of ways. Like I I also went to go study. I studied um, sports uh, management. Mm -hmm. I got a diploma in sports management. However, I opted for a different route in my life to try and push content. And in the beginning, it wasn't easy. But it, it seems like that route is working out better for you, though. Yeah, of course. But I'm just I'm just trying to give them like the journey and show them that it didn't work like overnight. Mm. Like in the beginning for me, it was tough. Like I was um, at home and I remember I used to go with all my friends out, like my boy Chase, my boy David. Their man, they were making money those mm. times. And um, I used to work a retail job and then I stopped working a retail job and I started doing this content thing. So at that time, my friends were going out and I remember all I could afford was a 30 rand bucket for wine at KFC. Oh, man. So like when they went out, I wanted to be a part of them. If you ain't know me at that time, I would have never let that happen. You never let that happen? Yes. What do you buy me? A uh, streetwise tuna? I would have sent you money. You sent me money? Yes. Crazy. But you she were in uni that time. Hey? You were in uni that time. I saw a bread though. Oh, you going to make a way. <laughs> <laughs> but, those, but what I'm just saying is like those times I was in a situation where I was like pushing the content. I wasn't making no money. Mm. So I feel like that's probably the part where you are doing your degree. Mm. because that's, that's the part where you're learning about content but where you're getting time, better I feel like it's good that you have that degree though because no, you no, are no. doing well for yourself but you have something to fall back, to fall on. back on in no, but, some way but what, but what I'm referring to as my degree mm -hmm. and my learning period is the times when I was going out with my friends and I was doing content but I wasn't making much money yeah. so that's my degree part in like mm -hmm. social media because now you're learning about how to make content how to edit how to get paid all, all those things so at that time it was like tough and it wasn't easy but i felt i felt like there was light at the end of the tunnel like right now i'm like getting to a point where i'm actually you starting to make, make some bread well, uh, to be honest when i started content i had no no direction at all mm. like when i made my first youtube video i always tell the story like me and my friend went that day and it was so random because he just said he just had a camera and he said let's go record if we didn't have a camera that day, we wouldn't have started this whole journey. Yeah. But at that time, I just went to go film the video for the sake of filming videos. And then it got to a point where people were liking the videos and I was filming videos for clout. Because mm -hmm. I feel like we all go through that stage where you're like, yo, people like me, people are cool, mm -hmm. people are showing me love, uh, girls are and like the, yo, I knew it, I knew it, I knew it. I was going to say that now. And the girls, no? Girls, you yeah. like the girls? No, yes. I, don't, I don't like the girls. <laughs> but people <laughs> people were showing people were showing interest in what i was doing so that was the motivating factor so at that point even if you weren't earning money coming from a from school where i wasn't popular at all now people are starting to like me mm -hmm. at the sort of like a a a sense of gratification mm -hmm. yeah, that's a big one huh? gratification wow now they see you buying cars whoa 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 whoa, whoa, whoa. i didn't buy a car i, I, I didn't see, buy a car I if the tax man is watching this, this um all the, the girls that never used to comment on your stuff, right? Because there was a time where there were no girls. Everybody would be like, yo, there's no female interaction, whatever. Remember that time? No, I don't now remember that. Now have a car. Now these girls are in these comments. Oh, congratulations. And the car go vroom, vroom. <laughs> they go vroom, vroom and make a loud noise. I can't lie to you guys. Wait till I pull up at your school. Because that's what golf drivers do, no? Golf what? drivers like go to schools and then they, and then they, just then they rave outside. And, yeah. Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You, you thought, yeah, whoa, whoa. I was like, why are no, you trying to pull up at the no, school? No, no, no. Not like that. Not like that. Not okay. like that, Jessica Dina. <laughs> Call me Evie the Kid, please. Sorry, Evie the Kid. So, um, you then, well, I was telling my story interactively and I forgot where I was. But it's not about you though, babes. But it's about us though. Okay, okay, but this is your kid show episode. <laughs> this is a conversation. This isn't an interview. Yes, yes. Yeah, we you like to right. have, yes. like, I feel like there's a lot of people in Cape Town uh -huh. who haven't been able to tell their story to the world. Yes. And that's why I bring them on here so that we have an idea of what struggles they went through. You being zesty. Where they came from. Is there something wrong with being zesty? <laughs> huh? No, not at all. I'm just saying, like, you're very masculine. So to see you being zesty is like... It's new. Yes. Oh, I like sorry. it, though. You like... like whoa, whoa, whoa. Chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out, chill out. <laughs> that was just my persona. But, okay. um, 
Yeah, so I feel like there's a lot of people who never got an opportunity to tell the story. Like we had Nadia after last week. Mm. We had Razan and Imad here as well. They're yeah. doing crazy numbers. Nadia doing crazy numbers as well. Yeah. Uh, not as as great as your you and your boyfriend. Yeah, but I feel like bust. yeah, people are just pissed about that. But yeah. I feel like at the same time that was a very good conversation that we had. And um, I feel like intellectual conversations are also nice, man. Yeah. But the thing is, not everyone is also attracted to them. Mm. Like some people just like jokes and banter and like yeah. drama. Mm. But not very like intellectual conversation. At, at, at the same time, yeah, that's why I think that's why I think a lot of people um, couldn't um, comprehend what we were speaking about in that yeah. conversation. But at the same time, I picked up a lot and I learned a lot, bro. And you know, like um, Jack yes, Harlow, Jack Harlow has this has this has this <laughs> line where um, where he says like, um, "Before I met Drake, I knew him and I would get along, mm. but it's hard to crack jokes when you really want advice." Mm. Do you know what I mean? So people didn't like that episode because I wasn't Guys, cracking if jokes. Guys, you ever want to know like what? a lyric means or what a bar in any song means just dm this guy because the way you know lyrics crazy no? crazy wow i know i know lyrics to every situation like guys do you know in sprinter no? when dave says no she got an e-class bra a lot on her chest mm. do you know what that means bro basically she needs to go to therapy because she has a lot on her chest i feel like anyone could get that though. anyone could get that one yeah. must i give them a deeper one yes what is another bar i think it the was- one about when dave says about um his mommy and the yields and fit him into the flat. Uh, on my, our I, 20, think, I don't feel like a lot of people got that, but uh, you got that immediately. Our, our 25th birthday, he says, nah, mommy has to squeeze into the heels like she was borrowing some shoes. And the ma- no, snap. no, no, no. Mommy has to squeeze into the flat like she was borrowing some shoes and the heel snap. Because when you borrow someone's shoes and it doesn't fit, like you squeeze your foot into it and then the heel snaps. And they're flat or so, like small. No? Yeah, they're, like, they're flat uh, see, where they were he staying. He teaches me a lot. He teaches me a so, lot. So that's actually kind of crazy. Like I'm actually a very good lyricist. No? Yes. And my favorite part on the on the EP of Dave and Sintel's Split Decision. Do you know what's called Split Decision, bro? Because it's like there's two two types of life that you want okay. to Okay, why did I get him started? But wait, wait, let's, wait. Let's... I just want to say, I just want to say, <laughs> my favorite part is body dysmorphia, I got a figure addiction. Yes. That's crazy, no? Because a figure addiction, but it's actually talking about money. Body dysmorphia, people who have body dysmorphia are focused on their figure, yeah. but he's actually talking about focused on money. money. Outrageous. Where were we, though? We are actually speaking about you. Yeah. And um, basically the Cape Town conversations. I'm here to have people... Um, from Cape Town tell their stories because I feel like we didn't have a lot of stuff in Cape Town mm. and do you know Thank what you the opportunity though yeah I feel but like, are you using me for clout um, no definitely not <laughs> probably because you got like 68,000 in two days but like no um, yeah. I'm okay. not not using you for clout why would you think that of okay. me no it's fine if this video gets more than 30k though I'm gonna have to send you my invoice I'm sorry wow I'll speak to your manager about this you are my manager oh yeah true um, <laughs> do you, is your manager gonna get cut off the money um, well, unfortunately, yes, though. Like, oh, it's, it's not okay. really a choice. So I'm just sending the money to myself. Yeah. Outrageous. Um, there was something I wanted to say now, but I can't quite remember. I feel like I got lost in your eyes. Oh. Oh. I have a boyfriend, though. Oh, sorry. sorry. Uh, Irve Bukasa, no? Yes. Good looking yes, yes. guy. I've no, seen very, him. very. I've seen him around. That beard. Mm. Wow, well, nice, no? Yes. Uh, people let me say my beard is dry. I feel like they're just jealous. Mm. Mm. But what I, what I was actually saying, I, I finally remember now, is that, like, People in Cape Town um, only do stuff when they see someone else do it. So like, so but, in, but give me some context. I feel like not 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 in a sense of like doing it because someone else is doing it. I feel like someone has to show them that it's okay to do it. Like 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 I don't. I'm not. I'm not saying like I started podcasts in Cape Town. No? Yeah. But I feel like me starting a podcast like shows showed a lot of other creators that it's possible to do and that you actually can do this thing. So like yeah. us having a child now. Feel like everyone's gonna start having children now because we showed him as possible. I don't think so. I don't you don't think, think so? so. I don't think so. I feel like everyone's gonna have a chance now. Everyone's One thing I must say though is that I was very surprised at how shocked people were. That we had a which child. means like we actually in in terms of like keeping it a secret. Uh, Do you know yes, what yes, I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Like everyone was so confused. Like yeah. where did this come from? How did this happen? Because I was reading. How did the it happen? I can tell you and guys, but this is YouTube. You know what I mean? Like um, some of the people are saying like. I feel like we missed the whole chapter. Do you know? Like, there was nothing. I just feel like it's because they didn't have clues, man. Even though you were dropping clues all the time. Yeah. It wasn't enough for them to mm-hmm. be like, I know that they yeah. didn't come out. So when we did come out on Monday, it was like, where they did us come from? Yeah. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Of course. Yeah. I feel like um, for us also, it was like, like for me especially, at the sort of like, um, it was a difficult one 
at the same time because mm-hmm. you know i like we we both christian mm-hmm. and um we know that like having a child at the wedlock yeah is a big thing but and yeah that's why it was it's probably it's probably something that was difficult for us but yeah at the same time it's also something that we're excited about because mm-hmm. it's a new journey for us and um like as a child but our child's beautiful no Mm. Like having a child is a is a is a big step in anyone's mm. life, and I feel like our child is gonna be very beautiful. You think so? Yeah. All right, don't jinx it. Because you alone, yo. Yo, crazy, you <laughs> Stop chasing me. I got a girlfriend, also. <laughs> but yeah, on a serious one, in essence, a lot of people ask, like, was it planned? Mm. Uh, obviously, it wasn't planned because we come from very Christian families, yeah, and we wanted to be married. Uh, mm. but we are here now, and yeah. we plan to make this. Um, on that note, there was also a lot of people that were asking, like, please post your parents' reactions. Yeah. And, like, what your parents said. That, that's and in the, that's in the questions, yeah. We're going to get yeah, to the questions, yeah. So, okay, let me not be forward. I'll wait. I'll wait. Yeah, the first question actually is, no? how did you tell your parents you were expecting? I can't lie to you guys. We were scared. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, there are no reaction videos. Like, we can't post reaction videos for them. Yeah. Because they they all know videos um we like 23 which isn't young at all like yeah. we are adults mm-hmm. and we can probably go start our own lives like move out of our parents house and go start our own lives like yeah. that's how far we are into adulthood but at the same time like you're not married and you find out you're pregnant and like one of the other things were that we're not dating for that long um so it's not like oh we're gonna make a cute box and like yeah we're gonna post it and, and go and show the, our parents yeah. so unfortunately at the time when we did find out it was very like um it was just, mixed mixed emotions yeah, we didn't know how they're going to react so it wasn't a matter of taking a video and, and like, like hey, 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 we're having a baby <laughs> um so yeah there's there's no reaction videos however i feel like from both sides um we do have a lot of support yeah like our parents didn't shun us and be like no get out of the house leave. they were supportive obviously said and made it clear like what the responsibilities that yeah. we have now and everything that is going to happen because i mean i come from a big family Everybody comes from a big family, so they obviously have a lot of experience yeah. as well. Mm-hmm. Um, but yes, nothing, nothing bad, nothing sad, nothing angry, even. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think I don't think there's any anger. Yeah. It's very much like um, I think it's more support. Like obviously, the initial reaction is like, "Whoa!" Mm. It's like we didn't see this coming. Mm. But at the same time, it's like it's happened now, and um, it's a good. Th- it's it's not a bad thing, bro. It's a good thing at the end of the day. I feel like it's all about perspective, man. Mm. And if you're looking at things in a way in which like, yo, I have a child now. Mm. And um, you're not like, I think financially we're okay mm. for that. But probably it's more about like the circumstances and where we're staying now. Like we're still staying at home. And eventually yeah. we're going to move. We're going to move in together soon, inshallah. Um, God willing, sorry. Ring first though. We need to get married. <laughs> we need to get married though. And like, I feel like this is it's actually very important for us to have this conversation because I do think that we have a lot of like Christian followers and um, they might think you're, this is just normal. But I feel like, yeah. you know. I wouldn't it's, say it's normal though. Yeah. Like obviously in Christianity, you have a way of how things should be done. Yeah. Um, the same like in any other religion, yeah. like, there's a certain way that things need to follow. However, and this is something that I feel like I've told you already. Yeah. Getting married is probably the right thing to do at this time. Mm-hmm. however i don't want to put any pressure on him and i don't want to feel like i'm be- being put under pressure and i have to say yes i'm going to marry you yeah. because we are now having a baby and we need to move out mm-hmm. like i say it is the right thing to do but i don't want to marry you just because y- yes yes I- a baby like i wanted to still be oh we love each other like we still want to do this mm-hmm. you know what mm-hmm. i mean but what, what i'm saying is like in the sense of I feel like it's important for us to have this conversation in order to like let our supporters know that it's not yeah. it's not like it's not like just a normal thing for you to have a child at mm. marriage. Like yeah. it's important for us to let them know that this is not what we planned mm. because now they also understand that like because a lot of people like look up to us. Yeah. And there so was, there was someone that made this comment and they said, um She don't let me land, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she don't let me land sorry i'm excited to speak okay okay speak. finish finish but what i'm saying like it's, it's but uh, if i forget what i wanted to say i'm gonna be angry at you i'm gonna but be angry <laughs> also but um yeah it's just important for us to have this conversation to let because a lot of people like look up to us mm. to let them know like and a lot of kids might think oh they're having a child but i also think it's our responsibility mm. to let them know that like this is not what we planned mm. and so if they look at this as the model in which they want to mm. follow their life 
um, they can maybe do it better mm. and maybe we we might have not fulfilled how we planned it mm. they can do it better I don't know if you get what I'm trying to say yeah I, I do hear you um, but like I always say and before I always say rudely interrupt wow <laughs> there was this one comment and someone said because um, obviously a lot of influencers were coming out of the pregnancy yeah and a lot of them are married yeah um, but yet someone still said all these influencers um are now influencing the bad things that we shouldn't be doing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that actually made me think like, even though you think you're not doing anything wrong, like there are still people that are watching and they like, they know that something shouldn't be a certain way. Yeah. And now they see you doing it. And it's like, but you're supposed to be like influencing. But, but at the same time, I also feel like, Education was a thought there though. Yeah. Like with your family and your religion. Bro, th- like don't... you can know something is wrong. Yeah, I also believe like don't don't go on the internet looking for role models, bro. Yeah. Like definitely. don't go on the internet. Like obviously we try to be the best versions of ourselves. Mm. And at the same time, we all make mistakes in life. Mm. But um, I don't think you should come online and look at uh, Jessica Dean and be like, yo. And I'm old, I want to be like Jessica Dean. I'm going to do everything like her. Yeah, because you have your mom and your dad at home, bro. Mm. Obviously, if your mom and your dad might not lead you the right way, you have other positive role models around you, mm. first and foremost. Because on the internet, bro, like people don't show 100% of themselves. Yeah. And everybody's lives are different, man. Yeah. And, and everyone's like, journey is different. It might not be for you, mm-hmm. for them that's watching. And on the internet, internet people put out the best parts of themselves, bro. Do you know what I mean? So... Mm. Say, for instance, we had to, like, um, we had to hide our pregnancy, for instance, no? and you guys don't know about it. And then you would have this image of us, like, yo, they're very Christian, very that, very that. But now, just because we're having a child doesn't mean your perspective should change. Yeah. But I feel like at the same time, people only put the positive stuff. This is a positive thing. This is a beautiful thing. But I just mean, like, the circumstances is yeah, probably like what we you're referring we to. We don't post, like, when we fight in. Yeah. You don't see, all you guys see is the okay, oh, see the lovey. But yo, sometimes this guy. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> what do you mean, this guy? So yo, he, he gets like, he's very argumentative, guys, I must say. But you guys don't see that side. I'm yeah. only joking. I'm also argumentative. Everyone's argumentative. And yeah. like, even when we found out about the pregnancy and stuff, like, that's not what we put out there. Like, we just put out this yeah like they be like oh but we didn't show like the fearful side yeah. and the do you know what mm-hmm. i mean and i feel like that's why you shouldn't look for mm-hmm. role models online because people only show you the positives and people only show you what they want you to see and um yeah bro ask your brother to be a role model bro <laughs> don't look at some like i i want to be a role model for people but at the same time i'm gonna make mistakes and my mistakes are now amplified because now it's online yeah i feel like you can admire someone yeah. But it doesn't mean that you need to follow, like, copy, and, paste, and want to the exact life yeah. like, as it is. And then as soon as you do something wrong, and that that person doesn't agree with, and then it's like, no, you're not teaching me the right way. Exactly. Do you know what I mean? Exactly. And I feel like um, there's a lot of people that might make the same mistakes that any influencer will make. Mm. And then because it's not online, mm. people still regard them as a good person. But as an influencer or content creator or whatever people re- regard it as right now, um, your whole life is out there. So when you make a mistake, everybody knows. Mm. And now people look at you in a bad light. Yeah. And I feel like it's even worse because like a mistake that would normally be brushed off yeah. if you are like just some random person in society. Yeah. Because you are now the social media personality, it's amplified. Mm-hmm. So it's it's like you made this mistake so you need to suffer the consequences where as somebody else that yeah. would be nothing to them mm-hmm. someone says will you and jessica move in with each other yes maybe when we get married if we get married there's yeah. no pressure you don't know maybe it work hard enough yeah all i'm saying is if somebody wants a baby son in the wee whoa, 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 there's gonna be a ring on my finger someone asks, what advice do you have for 16 year old jessica a 16 year old Jessica. I don't know if she's saying what advice do you have for a 16 year old is Jessica? Is it a female? Uh, it is Mrs. Cronchoa. Yeah, she looks She looks like she's a, I think she's a female. Yeah, her name is Doreen Cronchoa. So, yeah, she's a You're for like, 16 year old. Yeah, what did you, what, what advice would you give to 16 year old you? I would say don't mm. make boys your whole life. Yeah. Because you know when you reach 16, it's that 
age of like exploring and yeah, finding yeah. art and you find boys attractive and boys are starting to be attracted to you um have friends of course but don't make boys like your priority at the moment stay in school just look after yourself um don't lie to your parents if you're What going you mean to you party, have to lie to your parents no i'm talking in terms of safety uh. like if you go into parties because 16 you know those you were yeah. partying at 16 16 no 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 i only threw part but my only parties i threw at home if you guys know about them guru paddle parties if you keep parties they're going crazy <laughs> we're going nuts boy but yeah just just always um don't lie to your parents like a white light okay everyone at 16 is white yeah. line to their parents but in terms of your safety don't say i'm going to sleep with my friend and then you end up in town and then yeah. something happens to you and your parents has no idea where you are do you know what i mean yeah, yeah. like in terms of that just just stay safe look after yourself as mm. a female oh well, of course that's that's interesting mm -hmm. so when you were 16 you're partying is that true at when 16 16 what were you doing at parties at 16 great 10 that time you weren't even passing pure mass but you had parties <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy. Girl, go do your homework, dog. <laughs> Joking. <laughs> but, oh wait, there's a lot of questions here, but I feel like at the same time, we addressed a lot of these questions. And for everyone asking, because there was a lot of people asking, I am now 18 weeks pregnant. Don't tell them. We have been, we already, in your video. Who's we? Said, what do you mean? I'm even a kid. I'm not Baby, your boyfriend. Okay. You're my boyfriend. <laughs> um, yeah, we are 18 weeks pregnant. Um, found out when I was you are pregnant with me I'm not pregnant alone <laughs> you carry this child with me uh, um, we found out when I was six weeks been yeah. keeping it a secret um, yeah we saw our baby like twice once when he was so like a little peanut no? yeah and then he has a big head and I don't have a big head so we all know who is like taking over in the genes yeah he um, he or she yeah. he or she But any any, any name other couldn't one. afford a car so we named my daughter alexis i actually i i can't alexis is the name guys i can't alexis how are you gonna feel if it's a girl though that's beautiful and oh. if it's a boy that's beautiful he tell me if it's a girl he's gonna fall to his knees <laughs> i'm gonna drop to my knees and <laughs> cry bro <laughs> but, but yeah. yeah is there anything you want to ask me is there anything that I, I had such a lot that I wanted to ask you? But you get lost in my eyes yes, and I, your I memory's you. gone. Like I, I just... He's so fake, he's so fake. L what, last night he was telling me, Edward never says that he misses me or anything like that. And then last night he was saying that he gets butterflies in his tummy when he misses no, me. I was what, saying... What were you on? Were you like say, drinking? I was or? saying my, my stomach turns when I miss you. I get nervous. So why were you lying? Because I, I know that's not you. That's true. And we literally saw each other like 10 minutes before that. So when my stomach was turning because I was nervous. <laughs> what is wrong with you? Because what? I can't miss you. And women say like, no, he doesn't care about me. Don't miss me. Don't post me. But then when I miss you in the tummy. You actually didn't post me in a long time, no? Posted you on man. On guys, WhatsApp? No, on guys, WhatsApp. On WhatsApp. Guys, you didn't post me on WhatsApp. Guys. Guys. But I actually think I muted your status. <laughs> what? Because <laughs> I was angry. You muted my status. Did you post a status today? No, I didn't post any status. Oh. You but muted my you. status. But it, it was just like, like you know when you, don't you ever like it, don't you archive my chat sometimes? No, I don't. Oh, but, 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 but we, I'm taking notes though. I'm taking notes for <laughs> you though. We had a fight and I was like, you know what, I don't want to see this. You fighting with statuses. yourself, auntie. Because why am I see? Okay, joking, sorry. Mommy. <laughs> and then I just muted his status, but it, it, like, it doesn't mean anything. I was just angry. Wow. Someone messaging me saying, hey, brother. Bro. You know, people need to stop saying, hey, brother, though. I feel like, do you feel like everyone's... You need to stop giving your number out. Yeah. What, what's that, what's that one line um, in, in thingy? I had to change my number on it, though. I'm too accessible. Uh, yeah, I could one. apply to tenant, but she's just too professional. Are you a virgin or you work for them? A lot of niggas chase clout, but I guess is it's what works for them. For today, We're 25. Mr. Bukasa. My name is Evie the Kid. Stop calling me that surname. Okay, Daddy. Wow, that was crazy. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I think that's that's about it for today. I feel like I had some very genuine and general topics. Um, okay. Oh, yes, your boyfriend yes. Um, was at an interview with um, Paul Tusi. And um, yes. there was a moment when Paul Tusi asked her, asked him... Mm -hmm. This is Tell, crazy. Uh, I was actually thinking about this the other day. Mm. Yeah. So um, anyway, what happened let, let, was... Are you going gonna to explain it now? Yes. So um, it was Benny's birthday and Paul Tusi was there and Irve was like interviewing everyone they talked in there. Yes. And... 
And I was like, okay, Paul Tuzi, whatever, whatever. And um, there were some other famous people there as well. Yeah. But anyway, Paul Tuzi went up to the interview and it was only the two of them. But at this time, I wasn't sitting there. I was sitting on the other side, but I could still hear yes. like what was being said. And then I just heard Miss Ma'am saying, um, you tell me how I look. Do you think I look good? Yeah. And then everyone was like, mm, you look good. And then she said, um, just good. And then you, what did you say? You said, what oh, did my girlfriend sitting on the other side. Yeah. Um, so I first thought, so if his girlfriend wasn't sitting on the other side, and then what? I would have said my girlfriend is at home. You see, that's that's good. But now why couldn't you just say, you don't look good? Did you think she looked good? I felt like everyone was, was looking accordingly that day, Baba. You know what uh-huh, I mean? Uh-huh. Like everyone's outfit was looking outstanding. Uh-huh. Um, so I didn't want to lie at the same time, but I still wanted to respect you. Do you okay. know what I mean? Yo, that was good. That was that was a good one. Yo. But yeah. Shout out Paul Tusi though. I don't know why people um because I saw someone commented um on your YouTube video and then they said um it's giving because everyone was saying like I would have folded even if I had a girlfriend, yeah. like, I would have folded for Paul Tusi. And then someone wrote it about me and someone said um it's giving insecure girlfriend. Like, bro, I didn't tell him what to say. Do yeah. you know what I mean? Yeah. Like I wasn't even in the same space. Like that's just how my boyfriend yeah, is. Yeah, and also I don't think Paul Tusi had any malice intention i think like she was just giving energy no, on the of camera course, of course yeah. really not like it's that like camera yeah, yeah. like you mm-hmm. know when you just perform mm-hmm. for the camera like i didn't see anything wrong with it at all by then you know you get those internet trolls that are like now his girlfriend's insecure he was yeah. scared of his girlfriend mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. stuff like that you know what i mean but anyway shout out to benny Maybe. shout out to paul tusi oh, that was shout a good out one. To the birthday. i'm not gonna pull away come no come <laughs> boring. okay for real for real nah, for real, for real. For real. For real. But yeah, that that was that was quite interesting. Uh, interesting for you, no? Crazy. Yeah. And Not that, for me, for you as well. And you were like fif- f- 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 fifty I, weeks pregnant that time, no? fifty weeks. Yeah, I was tired, guys. That's why he's making me walk on heels. And it you could have gone to go sit down though, but no, you didn't want to go sit I, down. I didn't want to leave him alone, shame. Wow, crazy. But yeah, guys. This has been another episode of the Kids Show. Episode. Episode. <laughs> oh yeah, Luis. Luis. Luis says I say episode all the time, no? That's kind of crazy, right? Yeah. <laughs> You're cute. But anyway, you. shout out to Go Binge because we're at Go Binge right now. Shout out to Faf. Shout out to Louis. Shout, shout out, out to, to the you, cat. though. Keep shout doing what you're doing. You think it's actually like you, good? You're doing very well. I think I'm a good host. Yes, I think you're a great host. Um, who do you think I should get next on the podcast? Um, I would say I feel like someone very, very influential that you wouldn't expect. I, I'm going to get, I'm going to get, uh, can I drop some gems? Um, I must actually still speak to Louis about this, but we're going to have um, Dr. Sia. You know Dr. Sia? Oh, yes, I see you always comment on your stuff as well. Yeah, yeah. he has like 400,000 followers on Instagram, just something like that. You know, <laughs> crazy. But he, he comments on my posts. Yes, he can come educate um, everyone about sex, as included. Yeah. <laughs> 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 but yeah, uh, Dr. Dr. Sia wants to come on. Bravo Leroux, you know Bravo Leroux, Louis? Yeah, Bravo Leroux just dropped the album, one of my boys. Um, hopefully, we can have them on the same and day. And what's that other guy that you like, um, Tembi Powers? Yeah, Tembi Powers. But I Tembi, think you should get him as well. Yeah, no? T- Tembi migrated though. Is he not in Cape Town anymore? Yeah, he went to Joburg. Migrated is the right word. But shout out to Tembi, though. See, Tembi, the kid doesn't tell me anything, guys. This is time that I'm so you think I'm going to wake up in the morning and say, Hi, baby. Do you know Tembi just moved to <laughs> Joburg? <laughs> How long did you know? How long did I know? Yeah. How long did I know? That he moved to Joburg. How long did I know? Yes, Irve. How long did you know? Is that how it goes? How long did I know? Because you're saying you're not going to wake up in the morning. The morning's not the only time that you're awake. Do but you know what yeah, I mean? Timmy, Timmy moved a few months ago. Timmy Power is probably one of the hottest rappers in South Africa right now. I think he's better than a lot of the guys at the top. But like AKA said... I feel like you're better though. I can't lie. Uh, rapping, guys, I have a hot time of EB that kids tracks, no? Guys, don't, make, don't, don't, make, drop, don't make me... A part of my body is rising. <laughs> so I don't want to start rapping here. Please? You're exciting me. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Timmy Powers though. My guy, he has a song called... Um, What's the name of that song called? Nearly knew that I had it in me. If all else fails, hottest song. Go listen to Timmy Powers. If all else fails, probably one of the like the best songs to come out of South Africa for me. Bravo LaRue's album. Absolutely crazy, but we're going to have him on the couch and he's going to talk about all of that. Um, anyone else I'm missing that I want to have on the podcast? I have one more question for you. Yes. Oh, it's a serious question. But though. can I first say who, who, all I want to have on the podcast? No. What's it? You can say you can you can say there's a closing. Okay. Um, I just want to ask you, um, how far are you planning to take your journey? 
Or what, content creation. Content creation. Like what what do you have in store for the people? Is there anything like exciting and new? To be honest, um, we just trying to establish the podcast. The podcast is my main focus right now. Like people might be seeing that I haven't done a blind date in a while, but obviously blind dates we like to keep them rare mm-hmm. because when we drop them, then people must be like, Oh my god, Evie dropped a blind date. Don't lie, I just say you haven't been getting anyone. I mean, now you want the people to feel no, but, that but he's in, keeping it. You know, honestly, I like I do have one episode. <laughs> I'm though. joking. I, I do know, have I one know. episode loading. Um, but for in terms of content, bro, I'm just trying to like make something like create new things in Cape Town that haven't been created. Like I actually want to talk to Louis. Like imagine we had a um, imagine we had a freestyling show yeah. where people come in and they freestyle, and I feel like it's the same thing with a podcast because. <laughs> Before this, people were doing podcasts, but it wasn't actually landing because there wasn't someone that already established themselves and could create the podcast. But now, if we do a freestyle show and um, it's like me, the host, like obviously I'm not like tooting my own horn, but at the same time, I have worked, I've worked very hard to like establish myself in the Cape Town game. So Aww. I feel like if I do a freestyle show, it'll give another opportunity for artists to come on there and like people will look forward to like, yo, he was dropping a freestyle show. Let's go watch it. Tembi Powers comes on there. Mm. Bravo Leroux comes on there. Young CCPT comes on there. Like, and just like upcoming rappers as well because then we allow these artists to have a platform. Because mm. doing the talent show last week with Chief Matt, I realized yeah. there's a lot of like talent. And there was someone artists. on there that also said like, Cape Town doesn't. Guys, the door opened on its own. There's Juju here, bro. <laughs> Cape Town doesn't, that other guy that said Cape Town doesn't give a platform like yeah. this. And guys, I just want to say lastly, Evie the Kids YouTube channel is not a family channel. Like, I know you guys are probably excited that we are going to have a baby. Yes. But I saw someone commented and on your thing, actually, and I was going to comment back, I had to find myself. But they said, um, why, why, why are you posting it on YouTube then if you're saying you're not going to show the child? Like, why didn't you just keep it a secret or something like that? Yeah. But the thing I'm is, just trying to get the money. YouTube channel was not created for a family channel. Like, he's doing what he's doing. He's been doing this even before I fell pregnant, even before he met me. So, me having a baby is not going to turn his channel into, oh, every episode you're going to see me and a pregnancy vlog and this and that. Like, he's going to keep doing what he's doing. Your and- pregnancy vlog is crazy, bro. <laughs> <laughs> pregnancy vlogs are outrageous but yeah his channel is his channel and it's going to stay like that and yeah thank you thanks for speaking about your boyfriend he sounds like a cool guy once You're again welcome. but um yeah back to my people who i want to get on the show bro i want to get more people on the show um who else should i get on the show i don't know baby Yo, you don't know Sheikah's closet shout out to the Sheikah. Sheikah's closet well, used to be an instagram but she changed that as well no yes I- because the Instagram is just Rashika Kari. It's not Shika's closet anymore, yeah. Maybe she rebranded. Or yeah, maybe she's, she's rebranded. But obviously, mm-hmm. shout out to Shika. She's just she's expecting a second child. Mm-hmm. Uh, she's going to come on a podcast hopefully soon as well. And yeah, I can't think of more names at the top of my head. But there's going to be a lot of exciting guests. Hopefully, some international guests. Hopefully, Stormzy, when it's Daisies, we have Stormzy on this couch, bro. I'm going to make it happen, bro. What's the date Are you today? going to Daisies? Yes, I'll be at Daisies. Will you be? <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so, um, yeah, Stormzy is a big one. Or else Ira Star, maybe. I don't think it'll be possible to get both the big um, days. Act- you know who we should actually get them? Um, if she's coming back anytime soon, is um, Tyler. Yeah, Tyler, 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 mm. yeah. Tyler will be a good one. Mm. I don't know if she'll have time for that since she's with Kim Kardashian and the big people there that side. Yeah, I feel like she will, man. Mm. She seems very, like, genuine and she will stick to her roots. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Yeah, mm. Anyway, but she'll go to the Joba guys first, man, because they have a big podcast, the Macchi and them and they. You like to sell yourself short. You mustn't do that. Oh, wait. She I'm actually the goat. First. Yeah, facts. Me, actually, <laughs> am the guy. But guys, this has been another episode of The Kid Show. Shout out to everybody. Any last words? No. Thank oh, you. Wait. Peace. Thank you. Bye. Bye.